my dear students how are you hope all of you are fine you all know that due to covid 19 and the nationwide lockdown regular teaching learning process can't be conducted so to keep in touch with you our school krishnanagar academy has decided to conduct some digital classes hope you will enjoy it so today we'll discuss about the chapter of class 9 physics that is pressure in fluids and atmospheric pressure look this picture this is the picture of a knife with a knife that person she is cutting she is chopping some vegetables right okay this is a picture of a bicycle this is a picture of a loaded truck right see the tires here this is very thick tires and in the case of bicycle this is not so thick it is a thin tire right so it can be explained by the concept of thrust and pressure the truck needs thick tires to reduce the pressure on the wheels but the knife needs to be sharper to exert pressure on the vegetable right okay now content that is first we will discuss about thrust then pressure then factors affecting pressure after that ways how we can increase the pressure and how we can decrease the pressure after that differentiate between thrust and pressure and then we will solve a numerical ok so first thrust thrust is the force that is acting normally on a surface the force can be applied on a surface in any direction but it is but when it is applied in a direction normal that means perpendicularly to the surface that is only called thrust that is the perpendicular force acting on the surface it is the force should be perpendicular otherwise it is not a thrust understood ok SI unit Newton CGS unit dyne and you know 1 newton is equal to 10 to the power 5 times and uh, here I have done it you know that thing 1 newton is equal to 1 kg meter per second square ok then 1 kg if you want to convert into gram 1000 gram into meter we are converting into centimeter 100 centimeter and that is as it is second square so then 10 to the power 5 gram centimeter per second square and gram centimeter per second square that time is called dyne and it is a vector quantity there are two more units the gravitational unit of thrust in mk system is kgf kilogram force and cgs system in cgs system that is gf that is gram force and the relation is 1 kgf is equal to 9.8 newton and 1 gram force 1 gf is equal to 980 dyne ok next thrust exerted by a body on a surface is equal to weight of the body and weight of the body always act perpendicular to the surface ok here is an example I am taking a horizontal surface and on that surface taking a block of mass mkg ok next acceleration due to gravity g 9.8 meter per second square for, for numericals I have taken it 10 meter per second square ok so what will the weight weight is equal to mass into g m into g that is 10 into 10 kg meter per second square that means weight is equal to 100 newton and that is the thrust so thrust exerted by a body on a surface is equal to weight of the body perpendicular to the surface 
understood that thing okay next next topic that is pressure pressure is the, the effect of thrust actually you know the effect of thrust depends on the area of the surface on which it acts the effect of a thrust is less on a large area while it is more on a small area okay i am giving an example suppose you are standing on a very loose sand so your feet will sink into that sand is it it but if you suppose you are lying on that sand what will happen your body doesn't sink in the both cases the thrust exerted on the sand is same that is equal to your weight but the effects are different when you are lying the thrust acts on a large area on a larger area and when you are standing the same thrust acting on a small area so the effect of thrust is expressed in terms of thrust per unit area and this quantity is called pressure so what is pressure pressure is the thrust per unit area understood so pressure is equal to thrust per area or pressure is denoted by p is equal to a by a very important term always keep it in mind if you know that thing you can solve all of that topics that will be will discuss today okay it is a scalar quantity pressure is a scalar quantity s i unit newton per meter square why because unit of force newton by unit of area that is meter square newton per meter square or it is called one pascal okay next coming to cgs unit cgs unit what is cgs unit cgs unit of force is dyne and area centimeter square so dyne per centimeter square so I, what i told one pascal is equal to one newton per meter square okay so suppose the question came what define one pascal so from here you can write it so one pascal is the pressure exerted on a surface of area what is the area 1 meter square by a force of 1 newton acting normally on it so one pascal is the pressure exerted on a surface of area 1 meter square by a force of 1 newton acting normally on it understood okay next coming to the next topic that is factors affecting pressure this kind of topic is very easy if you know the formula again what is the formula the formula is f is equal to p is equal to f by a that means pressure is proportional with force and inversely proportional with area so these are the two factors force and area that means thrust and area so area on which the thrust is applied that is the first factor and the second factor the amount that is the magnitude of thrust so two factors are there okay next ways to increase the pressure what are the ways again same there are two factors pressure is proportional to force so if we increase the value of force pressure increase the value of force of thrust pressure will increase and it is inversely proportional with area so if we decrease the area then pressure will increase very easy term next ways to decrease the pressure how we can decrease the pressure it is again the same thing if we decrease the thrust the pressure will decrease if we increase the area the pressure will decrease okay next term differentiate between thrust and pressure what is thrust thrust is the force applied on a surface in a perpendicular direction thrust is a force applied on a surface in a perpendicular direction and it is a vector quantity thrust it is a vector quantity and what is pressure the effect of thrust per unit area is pressure you know now and it is a 
molecular quantity. That was the difference between thrust and pressure. Okay. Now, coming to numerical. <coughs> numerical is a hammer exerts a force of 1.5 Newton on each of the two nails A and B. There are two nails A and B. The area of cross section of tip of nail A is 2 millimeter square while B is 6 millimeter square. Calculate pressure on each nail in Pascal. So force has been given that is 1.5 Newton and area of cross section of tip of nail A suppose it is taking A1 that is 2 millimeter square. So you have to convert that millimeter into meter. So millimeter square into meter square. So 2 millimeter square is well 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square. Okay. Again same B, I am taking at B1 as B1. So area of cross section of tip of nail B is equal to B1 is equal to 6 millimeter square. I am converting now 6 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square. So what will the pressure on nail A? Force by area. Force given 1.5 Newton and area you have just you have did it, you have done it. That is 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square. Okay. So it is going to be 7.5 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter square. That is Pascal. So exactly like A, you can do it in the case of B. Pressure on nail B is equal to force by area A by B1. That is 1.5 Newton by 6 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square. It is coming 2.5 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter square. That is Pascal. Okay, very easy. Okay. Now coming to the homework part. Your questions. Define the term thrust. State its SI unit. Define the term pressure. State its SI unit. Define 1 Pascal. Differentiate between thrust and pressure. How can you increase pressure? A block of iron of mass 7.5 kg of dimensions 12 cm into 8 cm into 10 cm is kept on a table top on its base of side 12 cm into 8 cm. Okay. Calculate thrust and pressure exerted on the table top. You have to take 1 kg is equal to 10 Newton. That's all for today. Stay safe. Stay at home. Thank you.